Mexico. Hi, so we're filming live at your own risk right now in New Mexico. John's parents' house is down there. It's our DP, Rick Galley. Alexander Boylan, Helena Santos, John, yeah, Katie Graham, our director. Just four of us, hiking, 10 days, constantly. So guys, we're gonna walk up. Yeah, so as you can see, it's literally just, this direction is vast, nothing pretty much. Uh, I got sick the first day, so that was annoying. So most of this shoot, I like have a massive cold, but it works because we're exhausted. Um, six days in the desert, our characters. So we're talking about lenses. We've been using a 24 millimeter lens, 14 millimeter lens, which has gotten some pretty cool stuff. Um, learning a lot about characters and lenses, which happens when there's only four of you making a movie. See, this is what Rick does. He finds weird places to lie himself down. I don't know if you can see that. It's exactly weird. Napping. napping while shooting. He's been under this hood constantly because he can't see anything. We're rolling. 16H take two, Mark. Got it. setting up the shot. We're trying to get the sunset happening. Look at how beautiful this is. We really are in the middle of nowhere, so if anyone ever wants to question, We're actually camping tonight. We're camping here. And then waking up and shooting the next scene. Oh my gosh. What are we doing? Day five, including the drive. We're doing the girls see the drone for the first time. And they know something's up. How's it going so far, Rick? Huh? How's it going so far? Good. Okey this is day six, Alessandra. Day six. And we are at La Luz uh, Pottery, right? Uh, this is the, I don't know, if, I'm not gonna tell you what this is. It's a surprise location, you should see the movie. Yeah, there's Rick. And Jean, they are setting up the shot. Some cool stuff going on, they're just masking some stuff. Gorgeous, gorgeous property. This is New Mexico. Doing another walking circle right now. Yeah, I gotta see my blocking. document that we're filming a scene in the middle of my take. We have Isaac in here. He decided to come and sit on my legs. He's pretty chill. So now we've Sorry, called Rick. him the Mark Dog because it's marked her spot that she can't move because of Isaac. Oh, Isaac. That's what he was bred to do. Hi. Yeah, he had to, to be a set dog. He had to find the most comfortable spots. Yeah. Like this. Like on semi-close-ups or medium shots of them. But we follow them as they go. Yeah. Oh, because that could be a break. That could be cut. Like, Rick got it, nailed it. Great, cut. Or, if it's not, you know, if, if it's working, maybe we just keep going. Like, I don't know. Whatever's better. <laughs> I like what he's saying. I, I already, I, you are such a 14 millimeter lens that I read where you were going before you got there. I am a 14 millimeter lens. <laughs> you are. You're full of movement and motion and just lightness. I thought, I thought I was a little You're more obtuse, more. baby. <laughs> You're obtuse. <laughs> I thought I was a little more well composed. <laughs> I mean, 
You're a cute. You're right. You're, you're a cute. You're saying you're, you're, you're saying I'm a little more cute. round. No, no. We're not talking about. We're uh, talking about mental capacity. Oh yeah. I still don't know. This is true low budget indie filmmaking. Yeah. No budget. It's the only way down from the waterfall. It's over there somewhere. We're sliding down with all our equipment. The fun part is going to be coming back up. Oh, Lord. I should have brought my rope. That's true. I'm carrying this. I did have a boom pole, too. Now I'm just carrying me and my bag. I think that make, it makes sense, that's all. Especially in the yeah. beginning, because, like, I don't think you're saying, like, they aren't telling you the truth. Like, well, that's true. Now I am. How we fix that? Yeah, because we they give us the wrong coordinates, so that's the only problem. Why don't we waste some We have to like, go freaking waterfall. There's a cache, and we're like, what the heck? And, but before we watch it, the problem is I come into this town. Mm. I'm just gonna have to punch it in, and hopefully I can punch it in enough. The story of this movie's life. Hike a little bit up there. Wait. Now we'll catch up. <laughs> Hike a little bit more. Lots of hiking. We did 15,000 steps yesterday. Yep. Hiking in the New Mexico desert. Yep. 10 days in a row or something? Nine? Yeah. Good times. Good times. Woo! Scale of the rock face. Obviously. Also a theme of this movie. What are we doing? What? What scene are we doing? What, what are we? Are we dialogue? We're saying things? What? KG blowing the mind Whoa. hiking thing anyway. Whoa, you're, you're falling, you're falling the rock. You're it's okay. The rock. It's okay. Fourteen millimeter lens gets really close to it. And this is a wide shot. That's a wide on the fourteen millimeter. Yep. It's a little creepy. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Don't move. That's a picture. Whoa, what's that? Got it. it. Looks like you're wearing a sombrero. <laughs> So John, what is it that we're doing right now? What are we doing? Yeah. Oh, this one. No, for real. What shot is this and like tell us about it? This is the beginning of a hallucination scene. Scene, I say with air quotes. Um, one of the characters hallucinates finding water. And we uh, we just finished shooting a super dusty dirt area where the amazing Rick scrambled around with the dirt getting shots of Alexis, but it's very How do you not know that? You were there. Weird. The viewer wasn't there. Oh. Well, I did take video there too, so. So it's a wild, fast, furious uh, moment. We're going to shoot the same in three different locations and hopefully create a disjointed hallucination. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm rolling too. This is just the pull through, right? 27F, I think is what we're on. Okay, here we go. This is scene 27F. Take one. Mark. Whoop. We have Isaac, our set dog, here with us. We're walking away from the creek. Good times. We uh, are doing this like really cool thing where, well, you know, if you've watched the video. Twenty-eight E, take one. Mark. them it is. We are driving into Alamo Gordo. It's our last day of filming on the Hit Your Own Risk movie. We technically only got a little pieces left to pick up this evening. We're going to have a barbecue. It's going to be the world's smallest rap party. It will be the four of us and my parents and the cats. And, and the we dog. have some left to shoot in LA though, right? We're, yeah, we've got almost 20 pages to shoot. No, I lied. Like, we only oh, have like lie. 8 to 10. I'm just the director. I don't know how many uh, You're just the director. Uh, yeah, we've got, you know, about 10 pages of the movie to shoot in LA. I guess you could be technically more than that with the end. But that's true. But yeah, we have to And, you know, I think, but the hardest part in my mind has been accomplished, which is the yeah. hiking in this 
this vast wilderness shooting. I mean, we literally, everywhere you go on my parents' property, there's footprints and, like, we've been everywhere. There's Reg, he's sleeping. That's what he does when we're shooting, he's actually filming right now. He's filming? Yeah, because when he's filming, he lays down and sleeps. <laughs> he's <laughs> he, he likes to film with his eyes closed. Yeah, this makes him a good cinematographer. Hey, since most people don't realize the amount of work that goes into a movie, I know, you we've know, had like 12 hour days. You know, people put in, you know, eight hours at work, you know, nine to five, five days a week, and they're like, oh, it's such a hard week. Try working 12 days straight. You guys, hold Woo! on. We finished shooting the movie. Woo! Oh, the Lord, so we finished New Mexico shooting the movie. We finished the hard Woo! part. That's my brain on AYOR, 10 days in the oh. desert with no break. That's my brain.